Alles klar, wunderschön, dass du da bist, du. Äh, ja. Ich muss meinen zu trinken langsam mal wieder auffüllen. Die Flasche ist halb leer. Wir fangen gleich an, keine Sorge. Cookie ist auch dabei. Hallo, Cookie! So, Game of Thrones. Ich bin mit dem Universum nicht allzu sehr gut vertraut. Das hier gleich irgendwie Sachen geklärt sind. Ne? Also ich kenne ein paar Charaktere vom Namen hier. Und so ihre Rollen und so. Aber ich kenne, ich habe weder die Bücher gelesen noch irgendwie ja, die ähm, Serie geguckt. Ganz einfach, weil mir das immer so ein ziemlich überdimensionierter Hype war. Wenn ich was gucken will, dann ist es eine Skyrim-Serie, ja. Ja, dass du Bescheid bist. Was, dein Hallo interessiert ihn nicht? Ja, pff. ich nehme ihn gleich mal in die Hand. Das interessiert ihn schon, den kleinen Racker. So, okay, also jetzt fangen wir einfach mal an. Der Norden wird das niemals vergessen. Tyron Lannister. Ich bin ja dafür, dass wir einfach mal mit Folge 6 anfangen. <lacht> Nein, wir fangen natürlich mit Folge 1 an. Das, sonst ist das ja auch alles reichlich behindert. Der wird dich beißen. Der, dann, der beißt mich nur einmal. Das, das weiß der dann. Ne? Oh geil, Zahnräder. Nice an der Bildschirm. Zahnräder. Richtig geil. Das kann ja schon aus Batman. Das ist in jedem Telltale-Game gleich. Boah, was ist mit mir los, ey? Seit tausenden von Jahren war das Haus Forrester ein treuer Vassal von Haus Stark. In den dunkelsten Bereichen des Wolfswaldes fällen sie die seltenen Eisenholzbäume. Nun ist der Norden vom Krieg zerriss und gegnerische Häuser versuchen, das Eisenholz der Foresters für sich zu beanspruchen. Das Schicksal von Haus Forrester steht auf dem Spiel. Also, es geht um das Haus Forrester. Ja, Logo, Mo. Gute Stimmung auf alle Fälle. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Ja, das ist das ist das ist das ist das ist das ist ordentliches. Das ist was ordentliches. Das ist das ist gut. Das sieht gut aus. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forester won't be happy with blood and brains. Wow. It's a proper sword. Ein Wisch und sauber. You will never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. Ask any man here and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. 
And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. There is a lot of humor. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Oh, that's me. You're gonna get me some Lawrence family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Everyone come along, eh? Let your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Aye! To the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Keine Ahnung, ich habe einfach das genommen, was mir jetzt als logisch ist irgendwie irgendwie. Yes, my lord. Uh, yeah. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this. Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. <sighs> Bloody hell! Empty. Squire, <laughs> fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on, can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you, so I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, boy. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? Bacon. Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying mm. is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? 
It's right over there. Die rote Hochzeit, die Zwillinge. Alles klar. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Hmm. Irgendwas ist. Ich weiß nicht, für eine seiner Töchter. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Gleich wird irgendwas passieren. It's gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. Ja, mal die Kacke am Dampfen. Bam! In deine Eierstöcke. Was glaubst du, wer du bist? Du Bastard! Sagen, ähm, Rodwick ist hinüber. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? Hey, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I... I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! Ja, moin! Der hat... Also, 
Der hat ja ein richtig geiles Schwert. Ich will das sofort haben. Ich glaube, der schafft es auch nicht. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. You have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I won't leave you, my lord. And you will. My lord, by the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. It's those foresters! Oh, on your honor, you must do this for your house! Go! Kill those fucking foresters! <lacht> Alter, der trägt das locker in einer Hand, das Ding. Guck doch mal an, wie. We lost the world of Also, wenn der das auf Dauer so trägt, ne, so schwer das wie Glocker, um ein anderthalbes Kilo, ne? Oh, das war ein netter Einstieg, ne? So kann man nichts sa sagen. Folge 1. Eisen aus Eis. Ja, nice. Okay, wie hat er es geschafft, das Ding auf seinen Rücken zu binden? Mit dem Hangar, die in Mitte ist das, ist das eine nur äh, komisch zusammengebastelte Scheide, aber keine Ahnung. Ne? Das sieht ja alles sehr appetitlich aus. Lord. Fresh. Wir sind ein Meisterdetektiv. Moment, da sind wir nicht Schweinehirten? Also kommen wir nicht aus irgendwie, sind wir irgendwie nicht irgendwie so Schweinehirte technisch irgendwie dabei? Irgendwie so? Hm? Ich frag für einen Freund. Okay, an dem Wagen können wir nichts machen. Aber den Wagen können wir was machen. Was war das, Karl? Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. When 
Perhaps it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Alter, die haben unser Schwein gekillt! Bertha! Hm, bitte was? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Alter! I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. Ja, okay, alles that klar. That too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> No. I'll have that sword, boy. He does with me. Come get it, you bastard. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Come, ja genau, nimm die Bissgabel. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Bissgabel. Damit kann man nämlich super Leute entwaffnen. Und rein damit in den Hals. Jawohl. Ey, selbst der kann das Schlaf kaum tragen. Bam, Bodycheck! Alter! Mein Bein! Merci! Please! I beg of you! I, I have a family! They'll never survive without me! I have no quarrel with you! I, I was only following orders. Thank you! No white heel will see you hang for this! That much I promise! <laughs> Ey, den hättest du jetzt ruhig noch töten können, ganz ehrlich. Also das Schwert war lang genug. Ach, guck mal, wie er jetzt rennen kann. Okay, gut, Adrenalin. Vater? Garrett, du hast überlebt. Deine Schwester. Sie hat... I tried to stop them. And now it's another father dead. Servus, Tim. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Ja, kann nicht klagen. Hört ihr so? Garrett! I was too late. 
They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <laughs> Uh, two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Master. Master. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. This is nice, my friend. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, jetzt müssen wir das auch noch aufhalten, bis nicht verarschen. Und jetzt da schön die Maden rein. Schön eklig. These are dark days, I fear. Aber na gut, wenn es hilft. The house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. That's not very good. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. <laughs> Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Also, ich trage immer noch das riesige Ding auf meinem Rücken. Klar kann ich darauf Gewicht ausüben. Come on, don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Ja, gut, da hast du natürlich recht. Der Stuhl des Lords. Ein Glück nicht der Stuhl, der im Klo landet. <lacht> Gott, den habe ich jetzt nicht gerade ernsthaft gebracht, oder? Oh. Scham über mein Haupt. The Ironwood Grove. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. Das hätte ich mir an dem Namen dieses Holzes schon irgendwie denken können, dass der irgend, dass das irgendwie stark sein muss, das Holz irgendwie viel aushalten. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I'm fine, Master Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Ja komm, jetzt machen wir hier einen 300 Meter Marathon. Bitte was? 300 Meter Marathon. Ja, 300 Kilometer Marathon, würde ich sagen. Außenstand. 300 Meter Marathon. Hashtag Fail. Boah, wen haben wir denn hier? Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, Königs. I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ja, ist doch gut. Ryan. 
Never easy being the fourth born son. Hmm. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Na, ja, wurde von einem einfachen Pferd wieder gestreckt. Das nenne ich meinen Tod. Mhm. Mm I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Ja, ja. Ganz ruhig. Moment mal, Schwert zeigen. Du hast das Ding doch nicht gesehen auf meinem Kreuz. Dann weiß er nie, ne? Heilkräuter. Nehmen wir auch mal mit. Das mal, ja. Ja, ich denke auch, ne? Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <lacht> ja, helfen können die schon, ne? Wollen wir ihm mal das Schwert zeigen, was er nicht gesehen hat? It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Geil. Jetzt wissen wir Bescheid. Oh, guck mal, hier ist ein schönes Inventar. Ja. I'll admit, you do seem. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Was war das denn bitte für ein Blick so? Hast du gesehen, ich kann laufen? Nee, da können wir nicht lang. Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Ja, es ist wahr. I'm so sorry. Hat da hat ihr einen Crush on Later. us? Ich frag für einen Freund. Auf to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Oh, then come and fail. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. You can't fault the boy for defending himself. I don't. But they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument we cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. 
Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. So what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. <sighs> that settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Wir sollten ihm doch langsam mal was sagen hier, was uns ja unser, 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 unser Befehlshaber, unser, unser, unser Dings hier beauftragt hat, ihm zu sagen. Nur ihm. Nur ihm! Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, Tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, it's will be our secret. No, no, no. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Watch off it. Not the ladies, my friend. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Garrett, wait! Oh, guck mal, wer da angerannt kommt. Be 
Ich glaube, die mag uns. Ich glaube, die mag uns sehr. Ich glaube, die mag uns wirklich sehr. Richtig sehr. Und irgendwas wird diese wahrscheinlich entstehende Romanze garantiert in ihren Grundfesten erschüttern! Ethan? Ethan! Ethan Forrester, Lord des Hauses Forrester. Boah, das sieht ja aus wie so ein Spitzbüb. Ich ist Spitzbüb. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. Oh, that's a He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... Like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then... Well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. The hashtag <laughs> Erfolge. It, it would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. <laughs> What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Hm. 
Manches hat einfach seine Priorität. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men, moreover. Boah, guckt euch ihn an. Der Fettsack schon wieder. Immer ist Lord Fettsack. Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. Garrett was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Oh, wie sie die Augenbrauen noch gehoben hat. That lad 
may be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do your worst, you bastard. Blondie. You must find your voice, my lord. Your enemies will interpret your silence as a sign of weakness. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Woo! This is going to be a sober thing, right? Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Alles klar, weiß ich ja Bescheid. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ethan made this for me. Der Karl Schnitzen, der Typ. Der Karl Schnitzen, der Typ. Geil. Gefällt mir. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Tja, das wird wohl nicht mehr passieren, vor allem nicht am Vater. Wa? Hmm, Trauben. Verstaubtes Buch. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Der tut es. I hope to see them all someday. Ja, also Roderick findest du schon mal nicht wieder. Dein Vater auch nicht. Also, ja, King's Sport. Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Wer geklopft? One moment. Oh, sorry, m'lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Is that a cool Junge? Sieht so aus, weil da war ja das hieß coole Becken und das sah ziemlich. Begging your pardon, m'lady, but you're all right. If you don't mind my asking. You seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Man muss immer seine Verbündeten suchen. Der könnte noch nützlich sein, ne? Dass ich ihn einfach da reinschüttet. Ganz ehrlich, der macht seine Arbeit gut. Work for Lady Marjorie. I may be wrong. 
But it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Ich sag doch, man muss seine Verbündeten suchen. Und da kann doch ein sehr guter sein. Die erinnert mich ein bisschen an Kasumi. Sieht überall Kasumis. Alles klar, weiß ich Bescheid. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Ja, lass uns mal reden. Schlampe. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. Alter, was für eine Schlampe! She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Wo will ich denn wissen, was sie hören will? Mein Gott. See if the Bin ich Beethoven? Ready to receive us. Wenn dann aber Beethoven nicht taub. Wegen den Hören. You'll be fine. I know you will. You glaub, Beethoven feel war, ja, Beethoven war, glaub ich, taub. Good luck. Uh. Boah, die Episode geht schon jetzt äh, eine Stunde. Knapp. Echt krass. You can do this. Oh, guck mal an, da ist der kleine Mann. Der Gnom. Oh, ich mag den ah, Typen. Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion, Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? 
I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true King. The one true King. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant- I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain- Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty, if you have any loyalty at all? Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, Your Grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easy. Now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, your grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. 
You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crown. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Ich mag ihn. <lacht> er ist so knuffig. Er möchte am liebsten seine, in seine Bäckchen greifen. In seine kleinen, knackigen Bäckchen. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. That's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... Rather disappointed by your display, Mira. 
I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Alter, nicht mal ein Flock in ihrer Möse kann ihr gut tun. Something important. <lacht> Tut mir leid, aber es ist so. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Ich hoffe, sie verrät uns nicht. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... You're the only one who can help me. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Boah, Alter, das geht ja heute lang, ey. <lacht> Lol. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. 
but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Habe ich denn wirklich nichts zur Selbstverteidigung mit? Ich ahne Schreckliches. Bloody hell. Äh. Yo! Kann man mal machen! Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But... 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Bitte was? I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Miss. Why did you kick this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roiland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right! He speaks He's truth! Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day! <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! No. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. 
you'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. Schneide drei Finger ab, lass Gnade walten. Alter, was machen wir denn jetzt? The fuck this hell? Also analysieren wir. Der Typ hat von uns gestohlen. Weil das Haus gerade mal, weil, weil, weil unser Haus ja gerade mal öh ist, ne? Also nicht gerade gut dasteht. Gregor, also unser Vater, nehme ich jetzt einmal an, der hat immer drei Fi also hat immer Finger abschneiden lassen. Mann, Gnade walten. Aber ihn... Scheiße. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the Bracer of the Sentinel, the Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Ah, wie lange wird das noch gehen? Ja, der eine ist ein bisschen gewalttätig, der andere, der ist halt ein bisschen so, ah, immer schön im Mittelweg, immer ein bisschen überlegen. Red mal einfach erstmal. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. 
In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice, but it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Now, when I say parry... Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Shiot! Okay. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. Ah. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Boah, warum ist sie denn so sauer? Ich hab doch, ich, ich, ich hab den doch verschont. Father told me, Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Ich hab mir doch Gnade gewährt, also. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts his judgment. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Es redet man nun nochmal mit Royland. Trotzdem, es, es spricht. Der Krieg spricht halt für ne. Für Royland, aber mein Gefühl sagt mir halt hier ja, danke. Ne? Slash 
slash and parry. Slash and parry again. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... Huh? Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Ich hab mit dem gar nichts gemacht. Ich hab ihn verschont, mein Freund. Was he our enemy? A bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Ja, sind früh vom Hass zerfressen. Das kann ja nur gut werden. Yo, Meister, wo bist denn du? Da ist er ja. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords! A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh... I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Yes, my lord? I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. Oh. So, when will you declare your decision? My lord. Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Er hat einen Punkt. Aber ich mag ihn nicht. Aber wir werden es tun. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Auch wenn ich ihn nicht mag, werde ich es tun. La 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 la. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your... Ja, mein Gefühl sagt mir auch Duncan. 
What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Ransom or a robbery? He may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Ich hätte, äh, ja, mein Bauch sagt mir ja auch danken, aber ich habe mich jetzt einfach mal für ihn entschieden. Einfach mal gegen meinen Bauch. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene Man kann ja trotzdem noch mal Rat fragen, ne? Hm. Diese Zeit ist wirklich zum Handeln da. Wir müssen handeln und nicht reden. Also, wir können ja trotzdem anders sein. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Alter. Der will es mir zu sehr. Der will es mir zu sehr, ne? Der, der, der will es mir zu sehr. Weißt du, was Duncan fick dich? Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. So wie das sich hinsetzt, ne? Tuttle, so this, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Der will ich mir zu sehr. You make a fool of me, my lord. You as much as promised it to me earlier. Ja, stimmt, That's das haben wir getan. enough. The matter is settled. Aber so wie das sich hinsetzt, so selbstbewusst. Oh, das hat mich jetzt so ja. angekotzt. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. With no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton <laughs> sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new Sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a... Reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. 
Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Get out. You'll regret that, my lord. So was lasse ich doch nicht auf mir sitzen, ey. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Wie alt wird er sein? Also, sag mal, jetzt mal ganz kurz. Steht hier irgendwo, in welchem Kapitel wir jetzt sind? Das, 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 das interessiert mich jetzt. Das, das kann doch nicht eine ganze Episode sein. Fast zwei Stunden.
Spieldatei ändern. Wählen. Fortfahren, Folge 1. Also. Äh, boah. Wir gehen ja lange. <lacht> okay. Na gut, dann machen wir noch ein Stückchen. Seltsamer Schlüssel. Kann nicht schaden. Nehmen wir mal mit. Ach, nee, wir lassen ihn liegen. Ich werde es irgendwann mal bereuen, aber Marjorie? egal. Oh. Lady Marjorie ist still with the King. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Sarah. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Sieht schleiß aus. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear, for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Uh. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Yo. Ah, 
Hat der uns gerade auf den Hintern gestarrt? Perversling. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. The gods haven't favored us, have they? My lord, remember our words. Iron from ice, from that which seems hopeless. Come strength. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Something wrong with your gate. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The lord of the house says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here, for now. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. What do you think? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. <laughs> Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Ich mag ihn nicht. Ich meine, immerhin haben wir gesehen, wie er den Typen gehäutet hat. Ich will ihn einfach nur so schnell wie möglich loswerden. Ja, man schickt ja bitte Kasumi los. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. <laughs> First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. 
My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forest squire who did it. One White Hill soldier dead. One bolt. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. <laughs> we'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan... They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Alter. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? Oh, no! What have you done? No! But I don't want the brave lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, let him go! Stop that! Help me! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! 
Ethan? Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? And... Ich... ich bin geschockt. Das... ist Game of Thrones. Alter! Ja. So schnell kann's gehen. Ja. The fuck? Ah, yeah. ah. Ja. Ich bin geschockt. Ich bin in meinen Grundfesten erschüttert. Aber gut, dass der Typ ein Arschloch ist, das wussten wir ja schon. Oh, ich hoffe, der kriegt seine Strafe noch. Oh. John Schnee. Boah. Der hat ja auch so ein rund gelecktes Gesicht, ey. Ja, das war auf alle Fälle nicht so wie geplant. Das setze ich jetzt einfach mal so voraus, dass das nicht so geplant war. Na gut. Da so eine Episode doch relativ lang geht, bin ich ernsthaft überrascht. Man muss wirklich so, jede Episode ist ein Stream. Also haben wir noch fünf Streams vor uns. Sehr schön. Okay, das sieht nice aus, auf den freue ich mich. Oh, Drakaris. <lacht> Auf alle Fälle geht's dann hier weiter. Boah, na okay, also. Krass. Doma hat sich nur zweimal gemeldet, das fand ich jetzt eher ein bisschen traurig. Schön, dass der Tim mal vorbeigeschaut hat. Ehemaliger Klassenkamerad, zu bei dir. Mache ich, freue ich mich sowieso immer, wenn du dabei bist. Ja, auf alle Fälle war es das jetzt hier mit äh, dem ersten Stream von ne? äh, Game of Thrones. Boah, Alter. 
ganz schön viel falsch gelaufen, würde ich sagen. <lacht> Wobei, ich glaube, dieses Ende kann man, das, das kann man, also solche Enden, die kann man einfach nicht verhindern. Ne? Also, dann geht's weiter morgen oder so wahrscheinlich mit Folge 2. Und dann werden wir ja weitersehen. Schön fürs Reinschalten. Danke, dass ihr dabei wart. Und tschüss.